What's up guys, Technobe here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using CorporateTect. CorporateTect is the best logging and anti-griefing plugin a server can have. With this plugin, you're able to roll back and restore just about any amount of damage done to your server and find out who did it. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for CorporateTect. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. So before we begin, what does it log? Well, blocks placed, destroyed, chat, PVP, fire spread, portal generation, logins, logouts, commands run, storage like chests, item frames, and a bunch more. It even logs world edit commands. But before we get too deep into this, if you get stuck anywhere, remember we can use slash co space help. That's the plugin's help command, and you may find it useful to refer back to later. Now that we know what it does, how do we use it? Well, we use the plugin's main command for finding out who did what, and that is inspect. So slash core space inspect or slash co space i for short. This toggles the inspector on and off. We interact with the inspector by left or right clicking on blocks. Left click on a block to see who placed it, right click to see who removed adjacent blocks. Right click on a chest to see who interacted with what in it and when. And you can also right click on doors, buttons, redstone and more to see who last interacted with it and when. The next feature for finding out who did what, we have the lookup command. Type slash co space lookup or slash co space l for short followed by a bunch of parameters. We can use a U colon to look up actions by only a specific user and T colon for only searching a certain amount of time. Basically, slash CO space L space U colon followed by a username, T colon followed by an amount of time will look up anything this player has done in the past X amount of time. If you want to see exactly what happened when, we could get really specific with what time we look at. So we could change that time to be something like 1D, 2H, 3M, meaning that we're looking in the last day, two hours, and 30 minutes for this player. Yeah, we can get that specific. You can even look up what happened in an area by using R colon. Similar to the previous command, we use slash CO space L space R colon followed by a radius around you, so I'll use 10 space, and I'll do a time of one day, so T colon 1D. This command will look up everything that happened within a 10 block radius around me within the past day and report it in chat. You can look up interactions with a block by using B colon in the search. This uses block names, so if we use slash CO space L space B colon stone R colon 10 T colon 1D, it'll look up interactions with stone within a 10 block radius over the past 24 hours. We can even look up actions such as chat, PVP logs, and more. We do this with an A colon. For example, slash CO space L space A colon chat T colon 1D. This looks up everything said in chat over the past day. And we can use U colon followed by a username to look up everything in chat said by a certain username. Looking at my little bit of redstone over here, you can see that it was griefed. I can stand somewhat close to where I remember there being blocks and run something like slash co space l b colon tnt r colon 20 t colon one day. This looks up interactions with tnt within a radius of 20 from the last 24 hours. As you can see, Techno placed the tnt and now we know who the griefer is. Now what? Well, we can also roll back. It's a super simple command that we can do some equally interesting stuff with. Slash CO space rollback space T colon the time R colon the radius. This rolls back everything that happened in the past amount of time within a certain radius of blocks. So say an hour and 20 blocks. To undo actions performed by a core protect command, we can simply do slash CO space undo. We can even roll back actions within a certain area by a certain user. So if you build with someone and you want to get rid of something that someone else did, we can use the same command as earlier. So slash co space rollback space t colon, let's say one hour, r colon 
a radius of 20, and now we can add u colon to the rollback command. This rolls back everything in the past hour within a radius of 20 by only the user that we input. Of course, you can add and remove these arguments as you like. So we can remove the radius so the command is run globally, or we can even add to it, such as adding the action tag. We can roll back actions by a certain user within a certain area and time, such as say mob kills by using a colon kill, etc, etc. Using actions, we can look up commands by using slash co lookup a colon command. This will return all of the commands that were run. And of course, we can add a time to that, a user to that, etc, etc. Now, because we're logging so much, it can eventually start taking up a bit of space and possibly slowing down. We can use slash co space purge to clear parts of our history. But of course, we need to specify a time. And for that, we use t colon followed by a number, etc, etc. Locate the config in the plugin folder. If you're expecting a really confusing config, then you'll be relieved to know there's only one config file and it's rather simple. Opening config.yml, we see everything we need to know. In here, we can set up a MySQL database if you have one available. Otherwise, it'll just use the database.db file in the plugins plugin folder. Below the SQL options, we can enable or disable checking for updates. And then we have a bunch of toggles to enable or disable logging of certain things. If we disable recording something, it'll help us save a little space in the database. But of course, it'll also stop us from looking up and rolling back certain actions. For example, we can disable tracking of water flowing with water hyphen flow on line 97. And we can even stop tracking world edit commands by toggling world edit on line 129. When it comes to deciding what to track and what to not, it's all up to you and your server's niche. You get to play detective with this plugin and keep your server safe from griefers. Anyways, hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.